Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Wild Goose Garage. I'm your host, Ben, the Sultan of Support. This evening, I'd like to talk to some of you all about ends or lids. What closes a can? Uh, many of you are new to canning, and there's a lot of talk and new mumbo jumbo that you may not understand. So this video is for you to hopefully give you a better understanding of the different types of lids that are offered and what may or may or not work best for you. Let's check it out. When you're first looking into your can selection, probably the couple things you're gonna first stand out to select is what size can you're gonna run. 12 ounce, 16 ounce, 350 mil, blah, blah, blah. But along the way, you're gonna find there's lots of options that go along with those. Again, we're gonna sit here and highlight some of the things about our end selections. So the first thing you're gonna come across 90% of the time is a number. The number is going to usually be 200, 202, 204, 206, um, etc. Usually 202 is your most common. I'm going to refer to uh, this Coke can. It's kind of the classic Coke uh, or can size as well as end diameter for reference. So this is our classic can. So you can see here, here's an array of lid sizes varying from 200 to 202. Again, a classic can size as a reference. A 204 and a 206. Once you've gotten your can diameter selected, 200, 202, whatever it might be, um, the next thing that's going to come up is what style tooling you'll be running. Uh, there's a few varieties of these out there, but they're very specific, and you really want to make sure you, un you understand the seaming process and the tooling that goes along with these identified. Um, lids. So for an example, what I have here is two different styles. I have an LOE end and a CDL end. All right. Um, they're both 200 diameter. So they're the same height and um, roughly the same size. But I'm going to go in a little bit closer and show you guys what makes these lids a little bit different. So the first lid I'd like to talk about is called an LOE end. And what that stands for is large opening end. So right here where you drink from is a large opening. For say, this other lid here, that tab is a little smaller. Can't get the deliciousness quite as fast. One thing we notice about the LOE end, again, this is probably one of the most common lids or was one of those common lids um, in the market. I'll explain a little bit more about that in just a second. But what I want you to notice when you're looking at your end selection is this profile right here on the inside groove where they used to say, oh man, get your friends, you know, when you're sh sharing a drink. What I want you to notice about this is on this particular end, this side wall is totally flat and mostly vertical. Next, I'm going to talk about a CDL. All right. <clears throat> Again, this is an LOE. It's got a pretty vertical side, right? Straight up and down. Now we're going to talk, show you a CDL. All right. Something about the CDLs is all the CDLs have this little letter at the end of them. Well, guess what? That letter is super important when getting the right tooling for your seamer. So when you're talking to your uh, end supplier, Make sure you clarify that and get the seam specs coordinating to that little number or letter right there, all right? All right, so remember, the large opening end, LOE ends, the very vertical side. We should take a look at this guy, the CDL end, okay? Get our focus here. See about halfway down, there's actually a little step in this lid. And what that does is it kind of brings that vertical taper that we saw in the LOE and slopes it out a bit. All right, reason being, same goes for um, another end called the super end. All right, if you notice, super end, notice the slope on this guy. Very, very steep or shallow, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. All right, and this guy here, this is your CDL end again. All right, it's also not as vertical as the LOE and it's definitely not as tapered as the Super end, but both of these are tapered more than the LOE. Okay. 
okay? Here's why. LOEs were the thing of the past, all right? That's the old news. New can manufacturers are going to the super end or the CDL model because that taper brings the vertical edge of the, the lid slightly in. And guess what, when you do that, you shrink the diameter of your mouthpiece just a hair, and overall you save, oh, a tenth of a gram of aluminum in the process, which doesn't seem like much. But you add that up over billions and billions of lids, think Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Budweiser, somebody like that, that fraction of a gram adds up pretty quickly when you're buying in the quantity those guys are. So LOEs are a lid of sort of the past, CDLs and LL, um, and super ends are sort of the, the lid of the future, um, using a little less material. And an effect of that is the sidewall that you see on the, the LOE is now tapered in. All right, so let's recap. When you're talking about ordering lids or ends, technically they're called ends. Remember, I make up half of what I say, so don't quote me. When you're ordering your ends, there's a few styles of lids to select from. Um, I would look into the suppliers that you have um, in the area. Know that some of your lid selections may be limited to one particular vendor, but there are also some ends that are a little more versatile that don't require as much changeover, if any, when you're discussing uh, using different tooling. If you decide to go from, say, an LOE to a super end, um, there's going to be some tooling that needs to be exchanged in order to make those lids work. Again, because each end manufacturer has their very own specifications. So on that note, just let me emphasize that a little bit. So this end here, I believe, is a ball LOE. And let me just say that this one's a crown LOE. All right? They're both the same style lid. And actually, they both call for the same tooling to close them. So in this case, we can go between ball and crown and interchange the lids fairly easily. But when we do, always ensure you're checking your specs to the lid manufacturer who you're using. So if you're using ball lids, check in the ball specs. Well, I hope that was a little uh, bit informative for you. Of course, if you have more questions, um, one of our super slick salespeople will be happy to answer them anything those guys can't answer us nerds are here to take care of you so reach out to us with any other questions you might have but uh, again just uh remember you gotta pick your can opening and then what shape of lid you want um and know that sometimes those those lids are not always interchangeable between vendors and sometimes require entire tooling changeovers if you ever decide to change vendors. Kaka from the garage. So a quick disclaimer. Some, if not all of what I say might be total bullshit.